Now here again is Sister Joan Chittister. Sister Joan, you bring such wisdom and insight to our program and to any audience that you speak to all the time. Uh, I have to ask this question though, because many times uh, we've heard the phrase that there are no atheists in foxholes. Uh, we talk about faith and degree of faith and where we get our faith from. Uh, but the thing that has amazed me in faith all this time is that when I see or hear the phrase, God is on our side, or you see people in a boxing match or something, they cross themselves, whose side is God on under these circumstances? Well, we've done a lot to make God a partisan God, yes. a tribal God. There's no question. Uh, we, we've tried to capture God in ways that exclude everybody else. Mm -hmm. The fact of the matter is, it seems to me that, that in our contest with one another, even that contest is an invitation into a new knowledge of God, the way God works with the other, the way God demands that I work with the other. Th this notion that, uh, that God is blessing our bombs <laughs> has got to be yeah. absolutely the, the, the basic heresy of all times. That's the attempt to make God a magic God, mm -hmm. a military God, a warrior God, who will somehow or other support my sin and bring me out winner in the end. We have done more to diminish God than I, uh, than I imagine God ever ma dreamed could happen. <laughs> How have you experienced heaven on earth? Oh, heaven is in a thousand places, and I, 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 I don't mean uh, to be simplistic or, or to be superficial. I think we grow into heaven too, Floyd. Mm -hmm. I, I think that when you're six years old, uh, you're a profoundly holy child if, if you know a rose is beautiful. If you don't know that by the time you're 60, you have wasted 54 years. Mm -hmm. Somehow or other, yes. you, you, you come to see beauty where you never realized it was before. You come to see life. And so where is heaven? Uh, heaven's in, in all those places where God smiles on me as you do where uh, beauty enriches me as the rose does, as conflict grows me into a better self, as struggle makes me uh, a, a stronger, more conscious woman. When, uh, when I find God in struggle, when I find God in the conflict, uh, I'm, I'm beyond plastic piety. I might be somewhere uh, approaching real faith. When did you come to the realization of uh, the faith in God and how did it affect you and how did you react? Well, in the first place, I, ha I had a lot of reasons to need faith in my life. Um, lost a, a father when I was three, died. Uh, um, my mother was a 21-year-old widow with a three-year-old baby. Uh, the depression was barely over and my mother talked faith. There was something in this. There was some, some reason, and, uh, and, and, and God would bring us through that. I went through polio at the age of 16 and didn't mm. walk for almost four years. I never doubted, however, that somehow or other uh, God would give me legs. I knew I wasn't done because the God inside of me was alive. Uh, I've, I've certainly gone through a number of, of things in my adult life where uh, all the administrative dreams you have in the world don't work oh, and yes. you find out that succeeding there is not what the whole process was about to begin with. Uh, and I come from, uh, from Benedictine monasticism. It's a, it's a very simple tradition in, in the church. It says uh, you, you must become the essence of the scriptures and the Psalms and, and when you move into that, God is there and you'll get out the other side. Thank you. You're such an inspiration. God bless. <laughs>